Right. Oh, I've been. I've bought this, and well, people, will, you guys remember from my Chainmail vs. the Free Swords, that awesome katana. Got the old uh, angle grinder out and started sharpening it and testing it against a block of wood which is just over there out of the sight. In fact, hang on, I'll go get it. As you can see from various different weapons, it's had a lot of hacking done to it. Bits cut off and all kinds of stuff. But uh, the most important thing I need to talk about right now is what's happened to my sword from all my work. Hang on a second. Yes, as you can see, whilst hacking the piece of wood, uh, something happened. And this, although it was quite tight, it still is. Oh, never mind, I can't right now. But it basically came off. I found out it's got this horrible thing, which I hate. It's called a rat tail tang. Basically, it's this little thin, teeny little rod that's welded on. You just screw it in at the back with a knot or something. And, you know, you could kind of bend it about, and if I do it too much, it's actually going to snap off. Luckily, it's only a half rat tail thing because it's got this bit, but apart from that, if it was fully, Basically, in the chainmail versus free swords, I would have swung, and the sword would have gone back into you. That's how bad rat tail tangs are. Or even I would have just swung, and the blade would have blown off in that direction somewhere. So yes, after all that work and angle grinding, all that's come apart. And um, here's the other part. As you can see, I've had it very nicely sharpened. So that this is what it's like originally. So I didn't completely, completely sharpen this area. But around here, I did loads of sharpening. It's much finer. But, uh, but uh, after all that, I basically made one almighty hack at the block of wood, and then, oh dear, that's 50 pounds gone, or, well I don't know how much that would be in dollars, but a bit more than that still, so a fair bit of money kind of gone, because it's in two bits, well in fact more than two bits, about three, four, five, six parts. Oh yes, this is something that was originally on it as well I managed to take off. It was about there. You know, lovely bit of decoration. Crap. So yeah, lesson to you guys. Don't buy stainless steel weapons. The only reason I managed to get conned into buying a stainless steel weapon was because, well, I didn't know it was stainless steel before I got it. I was told it was folded steel. And now you can see the results of ending up the wrong kind of metal weapon. Okay, so get, you know, folded steel or high carbon steel, Damascus steel or something. Remember that, people.